Good morning and welcome to this hearing of, of the Committee on Government Operations. Today we'll be holding a second hearing and vote on two bills. Proposed intro, intro number 388, sponsored by Council Member Mark Yick, Traeger, in relation to the provision of diapers and baby wipes, and proposed introduction number 853A, sponsored by the Public Advocate in relation to studying the feasibility of providing child care for city employees. These bills were previously heard in a joint hearing with the Committee of Women June of this year. Proposed introduction number 380A will require the city to provide a supply of diapers and baby wipes sufficient to meet the needs of children present at subsidized child care centers, family justice center, department of education, life program, domestic violence shelter, and other temporary shelter. The sponsor will speak more on this bill soon, but since introduction, the bill has been amended to include both written notice and language access requirements. Proposed intro, introduction number 853A will establish a working group consisting of agency representatives and experts in the field of child care to conduct a feasibility study about providing discounted group child care centers for the children of city employees. The feasibility study will be followed by a one-year pilot project to provide such child care at one or more centers for eligible children. In addition to the feasibility study, the working group will issue a report with its findings at the conclusion of the pilot. Since introduction, this bill has been amended to provide greater detail of the study to be conducted and to make the conducting of the pilot project mandatory rather than conditional. The working group will also now continue to exist and be able to issue future findings and recommendation to the, until the law sunsets five years after enactment. I would like to thank both the public advocate and council member Traeger for introducing these bills and the members of this committee for their support on this issue. Uh, I would also like to thank our committee staff, council member, I mean council, Maybe I'm prophesying promotion. promotion. Uh, <laughs> Council Brad Reed, policy analyst Elizabeth Crom, finance analy analyst uh, Zachary Harris, and my own legislative director Claire McLevin for all their hard work. I will now ask the clerk to call the roll. William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote, committee on governmental operations. Both items are coupled. Chair Cabrera. Aye. Maisel. Yes. Powers. Aye. Jaeger. Aye. My vote of four in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions. Both items have been adopted by the committee. Okay, we'll uh, have it open for another 20, min 20 minutes, and, and we would like to have a sponsor of the bill uh, make a statement. Good morning, um, Councilmember Mark Traeger. I'd like to thank, uh, thank Chair uh, Cabrera uh, for his leadership um, and for uh, his leadership on making sure that this bill advances through the Government Operations Committee and for voting on my bill, uh, Intro 380, a local law to amend the administrative code of the City of New York in relation to the provisions of diapers and baby wipes. Diapers and wipes are an expensive necessity and many families struggle to afford them. The cost of diapers can especially be a hardship for single parents and studies show that moms who struggle to afford diapers are more likely to have depression. No parent should ever have to choose between paying rent and buying clean diapers for their child. Our city must show basic decency by providing clean diapers to families. No baby should be exposed to preventable health problems that arise from being in a dirty diaper when our city could easily step up and make sure clean diapers are available. My bill would require the Department of Citywide Administrative Services to make available a supply of diapers and baby wipes sufficient to meet the needs of residents and recipients of subsidized child care centers, family justice centers, Department of Education life programs, domestic violence shelters operated by the Human Resources Administration, and shelters operated 
by the Department of Homeless Services and the Department of Youth and Community Development. I'm so very proud that our city is stepping up to make sure that diapers are available to our families. Just as this New York City Council led the way to make sure that pads and tampons were readily available for New Yorkers, the New York City Council is once again taking a, a stand to provide diapers and wipes. This is common sense legislation, and I'm so proud we're taking a major step to do right by our New York families. This will be a historic day. I'd like to thank Chair Cabrera of the committee, Speaker Corey Johnson and his office for being very supportive, as well as the extraordinary, and I want to emphasize the extraordinary Brad Reed, who has worked so hard diligently on, on this legislation, and my staff as well, uh, Anna Scaife, my Chief of Staff, Vanessa Ogle, my Policy Director, has done a fantastic job, and Eric Framberg. Again, I thank the committee, and I thank you, Chair Cabrera. Well, we thank you, and thank you for your leadership in this wonderful bill. It's going to help a lot, a lot of families. Thank you so much. And with that, we'll leave it open uh, for the next 20 minutes.